All right, today is Wednesday, June 3rd. It is 9.17. Just woke up. Um, had a really long day yesterday in the market. And um, I said I would take a break today. Uh, let me just quickly check the market and see if there's any setups that I could uh, come in. Take something quick and dip. Uh, my daily goal is $300. If I could make $300 for the day, I'll be all right. So, as I said in previous videos, come to my charts and I look for consistent trends. We start under the four hours and we look for consistent trends. All right, um, Aussie USD. We missed out over here for hours. Oh no, that was yesterday, but yesterday and and Monday and Tuesday, we st we did get some some trades over here because we were in there on Monday and Tuesday, which was good. All right, let's see what else we have. Consolidation over here. Euro pound, nothing happening over here. USD JPY, I was in there yesterday. Yep, got some stuff out of there. I got nine, nine something out of here yesterday. I was there yesterday. Hey, all right, but nothing happening right now. Quiet. USD card, ah. Aha, uh -huh, USD card looking good. USD card looking good. All right, so we have one, two, three, four hours that look good. All right, we're going to check this one out. Let's go. One hour. See what's happening. All right, so there you see what's happening here. See what it looks like on the four hours boom 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 but the pullback the pullback happened right here see pullback happened right here so under the one hour we have a descending tread now so over the last few days it was descending it consolidated it bounced up a little bit and now it's coming back down so let's go in a little further half an hour half an hour what we have this is the consolidation it went up coming back down nothing definitive over here nothing definitive over here so all right let's move on this let's go back this looks good you know but you see that the last way they say you always have to dial in to find out exactly what's happening you understand so under the four hour it did look good but when we go in further that's that was deceiving the next pair all right aussie usd under the four hour so the last four hours here four hours here we were coming down all right so let's go in further one hour We take a bounce here and then we start going back up. We come down, take a bounce, start going back up. All right, how's the USD? Let me see under the half an hour what's happening. Yeah. Let's see if we could. All right, let's go. You go USD under the four hours. 
under the four. All right, so there's a consistent upward trend, right? We could write this under the four hours, but there's a lot of dips right here. This one right here, this one right here, and this one just done. So we could possibly write this up. If I'm gonna write this up long term, I will take a smaller lot size, probably like a, a one standard lot, or maybe half a lot, and just write this long term for the day. You understand? All right, next pair. Same thing here. That's another four hours. All right. But the problem with this pair now is these three candles here prior, which is what you had over here. There's nothing definitive happening. All right. USD franc. Swiss franc, let me see. All right, this looks good, but let's see what's happening. Let's go for the in now. One hour. And the one hour. Um, we had up, but over here, so, in most of the charts that we're looking at, we don't see that consistent trend being formed. So, like, here we see this upward, 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 but then once now, what's happening now, start to consolidate. All right. So, let's scan through these charts again. And... Uh, the half an hour. See if we could get something in half an hour. Alright. What happened to the RSI on this one? What happened to the RSI on this one? No. Alright. It and forty. Why is 80 and 40? This one gives me. How do you switch this up? Um, hold on there. Eh? Put this RSI back. How do you change this to 40 and 70? Seventy and thirty. All right. Give me a red light at the top. Or give me a green line at the top. And and the red line on the bottom. Close this off. What are looking for again? All right, nothing here. Anyways. This is what, 30 minutes? Consolidation here, nothing happening. 30 minutes. Nothing really happening. 30 minutes, nothing really happening. 
all right so the best pair we see is the Aussie USD for now we have one two three four under the 30 minutes USD card nothing really happening USD JPY all right USD JPY looking good too Euro pound all right so let's go USD JPY let's see if we could get something under the USD JPY USD JPY yes we could probably pick up something here we could probably pick up something here all right that's under the half an hour one two three so we could pick up something here let's go trade new order we're gonna do two lots we're gonna do buy stop and we're gonna go this, this trade there we're gonna work with this trade for now So we look at our charts and we didn't see any other setup that looks good. So we took this trade here, USD JPY, and um, let's see what we get from it. Let's go a little further. 15, same thing, upward trend. Under the five, whoa, upward trend. And then the one, there's a little pullback now, but you know, it'll be all right once it go into profit here now. And the five say yes, all right, so leave it. Then we'll monitor it. Like I say, we don't set no stop loss, we don't set no take profit because we have our eyes on this chart. The dig so. I sip my tea in the meantime. There you go. There you go, buddy. We have a pullback. We have a strong pullback. The 15, we have a, yeah, that's that pullback here. All right, and that's how it normally happens. So, So we could potentially write this pullback coming down. Let me zoom in here. But let's see what the one hour say. All right, so we're gonna just write this out. See what it does. To strain this tea, elderberry tea. Tea needs to be strained. All right. It is nine thirty-one now. Let me go strain my tea in the meantime.
I'm gonna watch it to the funeral bill. So we just sit and let it do its thing and trust the process. This is live trading with a real account. Yeah. That's how we do it, brothers and sisters. You see my margin level? One thousand percent all right so we have 5500 in this account uh, so try and get it to 6000 then gonna withdraw some and then we wanna start again Already way above my goal, you know. But so, whenever you get these kind of dips, either you close out this trade and take that loss and then come back in, or you trust in the process that is gonna keep going up. There's no guarantee that is gonna keep going up. There's no guarantee. The market does whatever it wants. But you got to trust the process. So what I would do, USD, JPY, let's go on this chart, 108.721. So let's go over here. USD, JPY. That's what we took here, right? USD JPY 108721. Let's set up this line here. 108721. Seven, seven. All right, seven to. This line, I delete this line. Let's open this up so you could get some more space in here. Seven, seven to one. All right, seven to zero. That's fine. We came in and and buy. At what time did we buy? Let's say 9.30. Oh, 9.30. The market open. And so, as you could see from here, we hit getting some losses because of this candle 30 minutes. All right, what could potentially happen is we get this here and we take a big hit, all right? So what we're gonna do, we zoom out. Let's zoom out. All right. 
we're going to ride this little wave coming up. It may be coming back down based on here, but let's see. So a lot of times you got to be patient in the market. Um, I went through all these graphs. I didn't see anything. I didn't see any consistency on the four hour, one hour, half an hour. But on the hour and the half an hour, USD JPY looked like it had a trend. So we took a trade in there. So let's just wait and see what's going to happen. In the meantime, let me check the stock market and see what's happening with my stock. Yeah, still eating food day, boy. Mad. I feel I should pull out there now. <laughs> this stock is crushing it. I think I should pull out here now. Yeah, boy. So what you may find many a times that once you enter the trade, it goes in the opposite direction that you enter the trade. So you might have to wait a little longer to start taking profits. Big. So my stock on, on Robin Hood, I'm 300 in profit on that stock in Robin Hood. Um, oh, and this keeps going up. Stop. Nice. Yeah, two days return three hundred dollars here. So could close this out. Take that three hundred dollars. I've waited a very long time for this stock to go in profit. It has given me a lot of licks. So, 
as we could see, we have a major pullback here. I'm betting this is at least $200 down. Let's see. 161. All right. And we normally do, well, not normally, but sometimes I do five lots. So if this has five lots, we would get at least a $300 deficit. So, all right, what we could do also, so since that we know, or not that we know, but since that we anticipate that this is going to go back to here, we could come in and take another trade so that we could write this 167 coming back up. All right. So we under the 15 minute, let's wait until the next candle form in the next minute. And then we're going to decide what we're going to do. Let's see if it, come, if it comes down a little more, then we take another one and write it going back up. And if it comes down further, so the further down it goes, we're going to write it going back up. So we under the 15 minutes, we'll wait until the next candle forms. Let's see what's happening under the five minute. Yeah, we had that big push down there. All right, so let's take, let's write this going back up. Give me another trade. Hurry up, put that order in, brother. I will put that order in, brother. Hurry up, put that order in, my G. Let's go. What the heck? What do I know? Right? This is when I this is me playing games. Do not try this at home. Do not try this at home. Do not try this at home. This is risky business. So once this starts going down, then it's gonna bust my ass with these five lots. But go big or go home, right? Don't go blow your account, man. Do not go blow your account. When you just start trading, do mini lots, 0 0.01. And then when you get more comfortable and you have more money in your account, then you could go with bigger lots but until then do mini lots do mini lots and look for that consistency in the trend and do not gamble do not trade if emotions don't panic when you start losing money if you trust the process. Yep, this is what's happening here. 
So potential, right, this is one minute candle. So let's go back to 15 and the half an hour. So yeah, this is this current half an hour where we gain licks. So just hopefully, fingers crossed that this doesn't happen and we are actually in our upswing. All right. Equity 53. Margin level dropped to 380 percent from a thousand and something a while ago. This is a five thousand dollar account, so my leverage is one to five hundred. Still here drinking my tea. All right, so we got a lot of, let's see what's happening under the 15. So we, we're starting to make our move now. We are starting to make our move. So from this second trade, I'm going to take out $100 once it hits $100. If it does hit $100 within the next couple minutes. Wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. What's going to happen here? What I'm seeing is going to happen there under the 15 when this that's what's happening under the five we're going up we're going up we're going up we're going up we already take the we reject that hair we reject that cell here with that long wick so we're gonna go up we're gonna go up to at least at least we, we need to get to the second line here because that's our first buy so between the two trades the second trade at five lots, we could eat a little something there. I'm 
this is the fight. This is the tug of war. And it's it's not a race. Don't try to rush it. A lot of people um even I did it too. I post videos and say, all right, you could make such and such amount of money in such and such amount of time. It's not a race. It's not a race, you're not gambling. Once you start to treat forks like this, then you're gonna start losing money. Take your time, trust the process, sit back, relax, and let the money come to you. Sellers coming back hard there, boy. Sellers come back hard. Let's see. See, but push it, push it up. Yeah, let them know what time it is. This is exciting stuff, man. And you see that when you watch these candles move up and down, man. Where are we at? Five minutes. All right. Next candle, boom, higher. See, and this is what always happens, right? We saw this trend going up, up, up. You see, even from here, up, up. This is from down here, up, up. This is a continuously upward trend. Yeah, we're getting these dips, we're getting these big dips, but it's an overall upward trend because the market just bounced back from here, going up. So this is going to take a longer time to get in profit because we have these dips taking place, you know? So you just got to sit back and relax and let the money do its thing. So I anticipate this video is going to be long, what I'm probably going to do, 
I will probably edit the video. I will, um, yeah, I will probably edit the video, cut out the boring parts. But I, I like to just leave the videos out so that you guys could see, could see this happening live, you know. Because you need to have that patience. You need to have that patience. A lot of these um, gurus, they have, they come and give you strategies and, and indicators and different stuff for you to just place a trade and walk. Because they try to make it seem like it's easy. They try to make it seem like it's, it's, it's magic. Nah. Put in the work, you know? That's why I sit and I watch my chats. Put in the work. Now we did say we wanted to just um we'll scab the first hundred and probably come back in and take another trade. But the reason why I didn't scab that hundred a while ago, which I did see it, because we're heading towards our first line. So let's at least wait until we get to the first line before we close it out. Sellers come back in. And what usually happens to me, since I didn't take that hundred a while ago, this is gonna, I mean, I'm not saying this always happens, but it happens very often. It just start pushing down, pushing down, and then I gotta sit and wait and sit and wait and, you know? Happens very often, more often than you know. So should we scab the first hundred? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Who knows, what do I know? I don't know shit. But what you need to notice, um, what people do to they draw a trend line, right? I don't, I don't need to draw the trend line because you could see each open each time. It's still there's even if we have this consolidation here, there is still this upward trend, right? It's still going up, so. You just eyeball it, you know? If you can't see that, then you need to get glasses. <laughs> I'm sorry my videos are not exciting and, and, and there's no showmanship and there's no jokes. I come here for that. This video is for my personal use. Subscribe to my channel, Digital Bashment. Like the video, of course. But this video is for my personal use. This is just a guy who has no idea what he's doing. I am just recording my journal. So when I look back four or five years from now, let's take that hundred. When I look back four or five years from now, then I could say, ah, yeah, that's my journey, you know? So we just took that hundred. We're gonna come back in again and give another trade. Another five pending buy stop. Cause we're starting to go up now. Place that one there. And you 
trust the process. Now, potentially, that hundred I just took a while ago, I could end up losing it because I came in and take another trade. You know? But we heading towards our goal of $300 for the day. So what we took a while ago, 115, I already made what I would make on my regular nine to five. Sitting here drinking tea. What are you telling me about? Look. Well, once I put in the time for this, my G. Give me some more time and then nine to five no more no more nine to five for me not yet though i have to become a professional at this and then i could tell my boss bye bye so yeah we are gonna take some dips here on the second trade but trust the process don't close it out. That was a strong bullish candle. Very under five minutes. That was a very strong bullish candle. Let's see where we close under this five minutes. And Where we coming in on the next five? What well, we have under the fifteen? Up. Fifteen say we just going up. Fifteen says we just going up. What do we have under the half an hour? All right. So we go to oh, we get some pullback there. Bang. Licks. What licks, my G? We going up. And that the hour is up and up, up and up and up and up. You see, so once people start seeing this now, who oh body panic bang, they close it out. Bro. You guessing or you you have a process? We're not guessing around here. There's a process, just a process. Oh my tea get cool. So we get a significant dip here. We could potentially come back and do the same thing a while ago. All right? Put in another trade and ride this going back up. But that's getting greedy. Let's just ride this too. Going back up and then we're good. Yeah, man. Push that back up, doggy. Push that back up, my G.
Right, so you see, boom, we get this bearish candle here, which pushes all the way down here. So do we want to ride it back up like we did a while ago or we just wait? It's up to you. Let's see where this, ooh, there you go. Bang. Licks. Oh, licks, licks. Are we gonna go back up? When? What time? Who knows? And so we see, see where this next candle forms. What is this new line? Uh, 108.734 108.734 At 10 o'clock I bought this one So this is where we at. <clears throat> this is where we at. So we're looking forward to this candle bursting through here and going up. Patience is the name of the game. We say patience is a virtue. Patience is the virtue. If you don't wait, these chats are gonna hurt you. Boss. So let's go back over here. Mm -hmm. 
hand. So let's grab another buck from the second trade. We want to make three bills for the day, right? With our equities, 57. How about we push that account to six grand today? What do you say? What do you say, my G? You in? Nah, we take a buck from that second trade. close that in time. Let me see what that was. Alright, so that's two bills. Alright, that was two. We have 58 equity. Bro, six grand. Stop playing. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna close this out in a while. We're gonna close this out in a while, right? That's two lots. We're gonna close this out in a while. Let's take this new trade. for that six grand there today. I always tell people my videos are just for my personal use. The madness, the craziness I'm doing in these videos do not do these things. This account is way above where it started. So all this is just, this is real money, but I'm just having fun. Still checking in there, so it's <clears throat> Up and up and up. 
up here, up, 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 up here, up, 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 up. up. So always bear in mind that you're going to get these bearish candles every now and then. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. You understand? But our overall trend, we're going up. We're going up. See? Sit back and relax. Yes, what time is it? 10.20. But I want change in the market. So what I normally do, find a pair, work with that pair for the time, make my money off of that pair, and call it a day. I could check the charts again and see if any other pair is hot, but try to stay focused, you know, focus, laser focus. So this is definitely going to be another boring video. Subscribe to the channel, like my video.
So we're making, we're starting to make our move up now. Again, you could come in, grabbing, right, right, this going up, grab another buck or so. You know, that in doing so, remember that it could also dip. So I'm just gonna let this do its thing. These two trades here. Let these two trades do their thing and then call it a day. How long this is gonna take before it go back up here? Who knows? Who knows, buddy? Nobody knows. So, what's going to happen here now? Now that the press has been pushed down all the way here, from here, I'm um, minus 400. This simply means that this is going to take a longer time before you get back up here. Much longer time. So, you never know what direction the market is going. As much as you have a process and you're making an educated guess, you never know what's going to happen in the market. Look at this, we're getting killed. I'm not going to close this out. I'm going to leave it. It's going to bounce back. Some point in time, when, I don't know. How long, I don't know. I'm going to leave it. So, you see, we have support here, 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 here. It bounced down here, went back up. Bounced down here, went back up. Bounced down here, went back up. Resistance here, here. Around this level here. So, we could potentially go back up to here. 
this is the wave up down up still going up up and up so don't panic once you see these things happening don't panic brother
feel like I should close up this this um this stuff here no more. Feel free to fire the coffee on this stuff. Starting to make moves here now. Money moves. Starting to make some money moves now. See what's happening. Come on, guys, stop playing, man. See, stop playing. Get up there, man. guys play too much. This video gonna be long.
subscribe to my YouTube channel, Digital Bashment on YouTube. Like the video. This is live trading on the fly, unedited, unscripted. This is just real stuff happening right now. This is real. The bird sounds so beautiful on the outside. Mighty got cold, man. Then I'll go outside and buy some fish. Come back and cook some fish today, man. But let's get this money full still, bro. All right? Let's keep it. I could say if we could get three bills a day, Three fives, fifteen for the week. I'm good. That's what fifteen for the week. That's way more than, bro. Way more than I make it on my job. So we are another 15 minute candle. Look, look. Once this candle close, let's go. In profit. Once this candle close, brother. One minute to go. Let's see what's happening over here. They're still fighting. They're still fighting. I mean, it is a long time because watch the size of this candle. They're still fighting. Stop fighting. Let's see what's gonna happen when this close here. Where is this gonna close? it up brother push it up and there we go off to the races no off 
to the races. Let's go up, 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 up. How much time under the five? Oh, that's a new five that just opened. Wait a little longer. Wait a little longer. Yeah, so we apologize for the background noise, but like we say, this is real, this is live, unscripted, unedited. Push up the way. Piece of shit. You're gonna make me wait, huh? That's why you're gonna do it. You're gonna make me wait. what it's gonna do, it's gonna make me wait a little longer. This guy's saying, wait for that money, son. Exercise patience, my G. Oh, hey, Papa. This is not this work, boy. This is a day's work, there, my G. Let's go again. We're starting to move now. We're making that move, mom. We're uh, making the move, mom. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Make the move. Make the move. Don't be shy. Let's take a buck from here. 175 plus 2, that's 4 bills. Go up again. A little more. A little more, my G, and what will gonna happen? As soon as I close this trade, this is gonna skyrocket. Just give me two more bills there. Wait, 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 wait. you touch it there. Eh? What's our equity? 59, we want six. We looking for six? We looking for six on our equity. We looking for six on the equity. Go up. You're right there. You're right there. You're right there, my G. Stop playing games. Let me 
let's see. Let's go in. Oh, yo, yo. Why you do me this? Don't do me this, oh. Let's go again. All right. Let's go again. Come on, man. You're making me wait the whole day, dog. You make me wait the whole day. All right. Give me a little two bills from that. Them two trades there, dog. Don't do me that, time. I'm just waiting until I close out them trades for him to make his move, you know. I'll have something against me out. Mm, watch, watch, watch. Watch, 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 So it goes sometimes, you know, people. So it goes sometimes, man. Make your move, my G. Why, yeah, 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 a uppercut. You watching the equity? <laughs> you watching the equity there, my G? You watching the equity? You watching the equity? Just give me a little spike there fast, I'm on them, it's called blah, blah, blah. What's your problem? Huh? What's your problem? Let's go back another one minute. Yeah, so go up, man. And give me them doji there, them doji there like I fight in Kung Fu. There it is. There it is, what we have there, 59.88. This is what we're looking for. That's it. Oh, yeah, 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 I missed it. Mama, that was quick. Go again. Spike again. Close out this. Let this go more. Done deal. Done deal. Done deal, my brothers and sisters. Done deal, my brothers and sisters. All right, don't mind this whole fifteen ninety nine. That's from yesterday and today. We're looking at this morning. One nineteen, one oh one, one nineteen, one thirty nine. Day's work. It is now ten fifty four, and we are done for the day. Trust the process. Trust the process. Now you see we're still going up, but done for the day all right this is live forex trading with your boy digital bashment follow me on instagram digital bashment facebook digital bashment subscribe to my youtube channel digital bashment subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel like the video and again this is not financial advice this is just me recording a journal so i could keep track of my journey into making money Get this bread, people. Get this bread. We are out of here.